This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the JDFN Market Wrap. This is the Market Wrap on a Tuesday. I'm Jack Lott here on the James Dix Financial Network. The Federal Open Market Committee held its benchmark Fed funds rate at 2% this afternoon. Some analysts believe the rate cut was absolutely necessary, while others argued just as strongly that the Fed should hold the rate steady. The vote, by the way, was unanimous. The Fed, meantime, pumped another $70 billion into the nation's financial system to help ease the credit stress. Barclays PLC is reportedly in talks to acquire Lehman Brothers' core U.S. broker-dealer business. The bank's trying to acquire the Lehman assets without liabilities. And American International Group share price fell after the insurer's credit ratings were cut. Credit Suisse analysts halved his price target on AIG. In economic news today, labor reporting that consumer prices edged down 0.1% last month, a significant improvement from a 1.1% price spike in June. According to Deloitte & Touche, the struggling U.S. economy should hurt the holiday shopping season this year. The company expects the 2008 shopping season will only see a 2.5 or 3 percent increase this year. The National Association of Home Builders said U.S. home builders grew more confident about their businesses in early September, with builder sentiment rising for the first time in seven months. And OPEC lowered its forecast for world oil demand growth for 2008 to 1.02 percent from 1.1. 1.7%. Scheduled economic reports out on Wednesday include the August Housing Starts report and the second quarter current account. In earnings today, Goldman Sachs reported third quarter earnings plunging 70%. Company reporting net income of $845 million or $1.81 a share, that from $6.13 a share last year. Best Buy earned $202 million or $0.48 cents a share. The company's earnings results were below Wall Street forecasts. And Kroger, the nation's largest traditional grocery chain, reporting its second quarter profit, rose 3.4%. Earnings scheduled out on Wednesday include Morgan Stanley, CKE Restaurants, Apogee Enterprises, General Mills, Herman Miller, and The Dress Barn. Stocks in the news today. Washington Mutual trading higher after S&P downgraded. Merrill Lynch trading higher after Fitch Ratings revised its review of the investment bank's ratings to evolving from negative following the $50 billion acquisition offer from Bank of America. And Hewlett Packard said it would cut 24,600 jobs as part of its acquisition of electronic data systems. And that is the market wrap. I'm Jack Lott here on the James Dix Financial Network.